Hello class. Today we're going to find slope from a graph. Okay, so what we've been working on over the past several days is we've been working on this standard. We want to write an equation in the form of y equals mx plus b to model a linear relationship between two quantities. Now when we did BBOA 3 the other day, BBO 1, 2, and 3, we were connecting the verbal with the numerical, with the tabular, with the graphical. Because those are the four pieces of algebra that we need to look at. Okay, so today what we're going to attempt to do is instead of finding slope from a table, we're going to see if we can find slope straight from a graph and be able to write the equation of a line in the form of y equals mx plus b straight from a graph. Okay, so <clears throat> if I were to give you 2x plus 5, what are the two things that we can do right now? Well, we can create a t-chart by taking each one of these x values plugging it into the expression 2x plus 5 and coming up with some y values. Okay, now once we have those y values, we then have a set of coordinates that we can put on a graph. Okay, so that's what we know so far. Now in the assignment the other day, I gave you a graph and told you to create a t-chart from it. So we learned how to do that. So let's see if we can do it again. Okay, well what we have learned is that if I were to draw a line straight down this graph, in order to read a graph, we take this line and we move this line straight across. And this line, oops, I moved my, my graph there. See if I can move my line. And as I move my line across, I hit points. And as I hit those points, I write those in my t-chart. So the first point that I would write then is negative three, negative one. Then as I move that line continuing across, it's going to hit this point next. So the next point would be negative 2, positive 1. And then the next one would be negative 1, positive 3. And then the next one would be this one, which would be 0, 5. And then the last one that it would hit would be this one right up here, which is 1, 7. So as I move that line across, the points that I hit are the ones that I write down. Okay, so we now have a t-chart. Now, from this t-chart, we now know that we can write the expression blank x plus blank. Okay, so this value right here we know is our y-intercept, and we know it's going to be the y-value when x is 0. So I come down here, I find my y-value when x is 0, and it's 5. Now, what we need to understand is that we can also find this y-intercept value from my graph. 0, 5 is right here. So the place in which this graph crosses the y-axis is our y-intercept because intercept and intersect are kind of like synonyms of each other. They mean the same thing. Now we need to find our slope. <clears throat> now we know to find slope, what we learned so far is that I can find the difference on the right-hand side, which is two, find the difference on the left-hand side, which is one, and divide those. Two divided by one is two. So what we know about slope at this point is that it is delta y, or the change on the y side, divided by delta x, which is the change on the left-hand side. But we also now need to come up with another definition for this, because this doesn't fit with our graph. Okay, in a graphing situation, slope can be defined as rise or fall over run. Okay, so what we're going to look at is we're going to look at our points, and we're going to figure out how do I go from one point to the next on the graph? Okay, so we're gonna pick two points. I'm gonna pick this point right here and this point right here. Okay, how do I go from one point to the next? Now we always do the up and down direction first and then the right or left direction. Okay, so rise, it rose two and it ran one. Rose two, ran one. Rose two, ran one. Rose two, ran one. So our rise, is two and our run is one. Oh, look, that's the same numbers that we had right here for our delta y and delta x, okay? So our slope is still two. So if it's a rise, then that's a positive number. If it's a fall, that would be a negative number. So we always do our right or left first because we look for the delta y, the change in the y side, divided by the change on the x side. Okay, slope is always the relationship of rise to run, y to x, okay? So let's see if we can do another one. But this time, we're gonna skip the t-chart altogether. 
and we're going to just gonna go y equals blank x plus blank. Okay, so first thing I want you to attempt to find is the y-intercept. And we know the y-intercept is going to be the y value when x is zero, or the, the y value when the line crosses the y-axis. So we come over here and we look at this point. The y value on this point is negative two. So that is my y-intercept. Now to find my slope, we're going to do rise over run. Okay, so m is equal to, that's because that's our m value. m is equal to, I pick any two points. My rise, it rose one, and it ran one. So my slope is one. Now I could pick other points. I could pick this first point and the fourth point. So if I did that, my rise would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I've got a four over four for a rise and run, and it's still, notice that, still simplifies to one. So in my expression, it should be 1x plus negative 2x. Or we could just write that as x plus negative 2x or x minus 2. Those are all the three ways that we could write that expression. So let's see if we can try another one. Oh, what do you notice about this one? It's going downhill. So instead of having a rise, we're going to have a fall. Okay, so again, y equals blank x plus blank. Okay, so we find our y-intercept first. Okay, we come to our y-axis, find where does it intersect? It intersects right here at negative three. So there's my y-intercept. So now we have to find our slope. So m is equal to, well, to go from one point to the next, it goes down two, which is negative two, run one. Okay, so that simplifies to negative two. Now again, if I chose those two points or I could choose any other points. So let's try this first one and the last one. So then it would go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So then that would be negative eight. And then it runs one, two, three, four. And if I were to simplify negative eight over four, I still end up with negative two. So no matter which points you choose, you still end up with the same slope value no matter what. Okay. So what if I only gave you two points? Well, if I only gave you two points, then you still do the same exact thing. It's just you only use those two points. Okay, so y equals blank x plus blank. Okay, again, our y-intercept, it appears that our y-intercept goes right through the, through the center, right through that origin. So we know that our y-intercept is zero. So now for our slope, we look at our point relationship. So we go from this point to this, this point, and it's always left point to right point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go rise nine and we run three. So that means our slope is three. So when we have y is equal to three x plus zero, do I really need the plus zero? No, we could just write this one as y is equal to three x because the y-intercept is zero at the origin. Okay, later on, we're gonna find out that this is called a proportional relationship. Now, let's try one more hard one here. This one's gonna be a little bit tougher, okay, because this one right here, you'll notice we've got our two points, but do we have a y-intercept? Oh my goodness, no, we don't, okay? So, we're gonna have to do something with this one. Now, I've told you, always try to find the y-intercept first, but if the y-intercept is not present, it's not evident, then just find the slope first. It's no big deal, find the slope. So m is equal to, so we come over here, now this one's going downhill, so that means it's gonna be a negative slope. Okay, so it's gonna be a fall instead of a rise. So we go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So down 12, and it runs one, two, three. So that means our slope is gonna be negative four. Now what we're gonna to attempt to do is use one of our points to calculate b because I need to find what is my B value right there. That's what I need to find. But you'll notice in this equation, I have three unknowns, Y, X, and B. But my X and my Y, I do have some of those on this graph. I have an X and a Y right here, and I have an X and a Y right here. Okay, so I could use the coordinate negative three, negative four, because that's what this point is, to find B, all right? So let's do that. We're gonna take our, this is my X value, this is my Y value, so I'm gonna plug my negative four into Y, 
is equal to negative four times. I'm gonna plug my x value into the x spot, and I'm gonna solve this equation for b. So the first thing, I'm gonna put the negative four and the negative three together to get, ne to get positive 12, sorry, to get 12 plus b. Now I need to solve for b, so I'm gonna add a negative 12 on this side. I'm gonna add a negative 12 on the other side because I have to do the same to both sides. And I end up with my b equaling to negative 16. So my equation then would be negative 4x plus negative 16. So I know it's gonna cross the y-axis somewhere, I just don't know where, and it crosses down at negative 16. Now at this point, I'm not gonna give you questions like that, okay? but the next time we do this, I will. Now we got two more scenarios to look at before we end this lesson today. What if I have a vertical line? Well, in a vertical line situation, the slope is kind of interesting. So let's see if we can find our slope. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna do our rise over run. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this bottom point right here and I'm gonna see how far did I rise. Well, I rose from this point to this point. I rose one, two, three, four. So I rose four, but how much did I run to get to it? I didn't run any, so I ran zero. Now, if you were to type in four divided by zero on the calculator, you're gonna get an error message because it says division by zero is undefined. So when you have a situation like this, when you have a vertical line, your slope is undefined because you cannot divide by zero. Now, it still has an equation, it's just the equation this time is gonna look like x is equal to three because for every y value, x is always three. Okay? So in a vertical line, your slope is undefined. Okay, so what if you have a horizontal line? Well, let's find our slope the same way. We're gonna find slope, <clears throat> and this time, we're gonna still do our rise over run. So this one, well, when I go from this point to my right point, I rise zero and I run one, two, three, four, five. So now if I were to type this one into the calculator, zero divided by five, well, you can do that. And you end up with zero is your answer. So if you have a horizontal line, your slope is zero, which means it's flat. It's just a flat line. Okay, so we've learned several things today. We've learned how to uh, find slope when given points. Okay, we've learned to find that it is our rise over run. Okay, it's our rise or our fall over run. <clears throat> we've learned how to do it from only given two points where we may have to simplify our slope. And we've learned what to do if we don't have a y-intercept where we have to actually calculate the y-intercept. And we've learned about vertical and horizontal lines. So, until next time.